Hi everybody, I hope you're well in lockdown. I'm here in my messy studio again. This is quite messy at the moment. Um, like I said, I'll show you that one day. Um, I hope you're all well. I've just been for a walk and I collected some different coloured things and I'm going to show you something that I do all the time, maybe on the beach or in the woods with little collections of um, shells or stones or dried leaves. Um, in this case I've got a few flowers but I want to point out to you that I've only picked two whole flowers. I picked up some petals from the floor and the two whole flowers were from big bushes but there were loads and loads of them. So don't pick something unusual or rare or there's only one or two. Um, okay let me show you what I've collected. There's my little collection from today and I'm just going to set the camera down and hope the light is good enough for you to see. Look, I've got some quite bright reds and if you start looking at colour you'll notice so for instance this is quite a yellow this is also quite a yellow and when they're side by side you can see they're really very different yellows um, and if you remember looking at the colour wheel which some people did last term and the rest of you we can do that sometime when we're all back together but just notice these are different coloured yellows so this one actually has a bit more greeny tint to it and this one is a bit more orangey so in the rainbow you're you would um we usually think of the rainbow starting with red and we'll put this sort of orangey yellow but actually i've got slightly better orangey colors these are some leaves maybe we'll mix those in and then this is a yellowy slightly orangey yellow and then I'm going to add my slightly greener yellow so that this one's kind of that's green but it's it's green yellow but it's got a bit of clearer green as well what do we think let's have this is so this is slightly greener than these it's going more towards like a spring green and then I've got some got actually lots of greens obviously from out and about looking at leaves and things it's bound to be lots of greens and um, this is almost like a slightly browny green now what I would like to do is get maybe on another another walk I'll get some eucalyptus but this is um, similar to a eucalyptus color see it's a green but it's actually got it's tending towards a bit of blue so it's useful at this end I haven't got anything blue blue from this walk I have got a little bit of we're going into violet so red orange yellow green lots of green in this one and then red orange yellow green blue indigo violet so i haven't really got a lot of blue but that's okay we've got sort of violety colors and maybe hmm, you see the interesting thing about these is that when you look at the rainbow and think about the whole rainbow you've got your red orange yellow green blue your indigos and violets actually come back and are related to your reds so actually that one could go at that end so this is one of the whole flowers i picked and when you look at it like that does it look quite white but when you look at it against the white of the paper you can see the pinky violety tone to it it's the interesting thing about color is color changes depending on what you look at it you know what's beside it it's it changes relative to what's next to it that's almost a violety color there we could pop that under there let's see what we've got move these things slightly to one side oh yeah i'm quite happy with that one it's like a little rainbow of my walk this morning and maybe it's something you could try if you're going for a walk um this is a great thing to do with shells and pieces of um broken drift glass and things at the beach if you're having a walk at the beach okay i'm going to say goodbye for now and um take care and happy looking look around even if you've not got loads of art materials you can still be looking at things around you and that's great training for an artist okay bye everybody